<sighs> I'm not ready for this. What is going on, guys? It is time. It is time for another she and the Princess of Power reaction. Today is Season 5, Episode 12. This episode is called Heart Part 1, which uh, I was asking about that last episode. Was this going to kind of feel like a three-part season finale or a two-part? And there's Part 1, so... Yep, this is the first half of the end of she and the Princess of Power, and... <sighs> As you know, if you watched my last reaction, you know that last episode was one of the few, probably the only she episode where I was genuinely angry at the end. Like, not not because it was poorly done. It was an extremely well done episode, and I fully recognize that I was supposed to feel that way because of what's happening. I'm supposed to fear that things aren't going to work out. I'm supposed to feel sad over what happens. But uh, it doesn't change that I am... Uh, Oh man, I'm going to be carrying a lot of tension into these last two reactions, I can tell you that. Because I've just, I've loved this show so far. This show absolutely has blown me away in its quality, and I am so glad that I have taken my time with watching it instead of just binging right through it, because it's been a great journey, and as frustrating it can be at times, like with the last episode ending on cliffhangers can make you really anticipate what's going to come next. So what's this episode even going to be about? It's about um, Horde Prime is trying to get the heart of Etheria. Uh, Shira has got the failsafe now, but there's a possibility that she could die or maybe one of her friends is going to sacrifice themselves to save her. I, I swear, I swear, if Catra comes back and it's only to sacrifice herself so that Adora can live, I'm done. I will be done. Because I have experienced this with certain series finales to other animated shows, which I won't spoil here. I kind of went into that a little bit last time if you want to check it out. But I've just loved this show so much so far that I really hope... I, 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 at the same time, I'm glad it's making me worry about that. That's what good storytelling should do. But uh, I don't know how to feel. I'm just a jumbled mess right now. That's how you know that a show is really doing something right. I, I know this isn't the last reaction yet, but just thank you so much to everyone who has been watching up until this point, whether you've been watching my reviews, like I've done full-length reviews on the first four seasons, or if you've just been watching uh, these reactions to season five, thank you so much. I have I so much appreciate your you guys checking out my content, and I love uh, hearing what you have to say down in the comments and getting to respond to you sometimes, so uh, j just thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. It's nice to experience something like this with uh, other people who also love it. Okay, I'm gonna force myself to stop rambling now, otherwise this will, introduction will be way too long, so. All right. The series finale of she and the Princess of Power, part one. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Netflix. Original series, DreamWorks Animation Television, the show <laughs> developed for television by Noel Stevenson, who is an absolute gem for bringing us this treasure. <sighs> I know, Adora, I know. Uh, yep, see, severing your emotional attachments does not make you stronger. Common theme in this genre. Bo, could you stop playing that thing? Hey, I'm still learning. Well, I like it. Oh. Hey. Prime is getting closer every day to figuring out how to access the heart of Ethereum. We're going to make sure that Prime can never hurt anyone ever again. We're ending this today. For good. Yeah, people have been pointing out in the comments that Shira's new outfit carries little pieces of the ones Adora cares about, like even the tiara, which I really need to catch her, which I didn't notice, but which is more evidence that. Listening to Shadow Weaver's advice is really bad. What to expect from the heart of Ethereum? It could be dangerous for you. There's no way we're letting you do this on your own. Mm -hmm. We find face it together. Best friend squad. It's amazing how far these characters have come, especially considering how they first met. 
Okay. You know what? It's the second to last time. Right beside you, ready to fight. We're gonna win in the end. We must be strong and we must be brave. We must be brave. We gotta find a bit of strength that we have and never let it go. We must be strong. Imagine how crazy it would have been if they had shown, changed the animation to have Katra leaving and then her not being there. That would have been insane. We're friends of Mara. Now show us where the heart of Etheria is. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. Only this blade tells. Only this blade tells. This thing, like, represents the fans. Even Seahawk. It is I, a faithful acolyte of Horde Prime, just like you. <laughs> nice work, Rung Hordak. Is he gonna get his own actual name besides Wrong Hordak? I don't know. Maybe when all this is over, all the clones will have to choose new names for themselves, so who knows? It's okay, Adora. We'll be with you the whole way. And when we get back, it'll be a whole new world. I mean... Did you guys hear that? What? Catra? Hey, Adora. Is this a real or a vision? She was going the right way. We need to be careful. We can't let it distract us. Come on, Katra. Dora needs you now. Dora! We have to warn Dora! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, this, this is the perfect episode to be having flashbacks to the very beginning of her story. That's... I love you guys so much. I never could have done any of this without you. Thank you for being the best friends anyone could ask for. Stop. Wait, is that hard? It's so hard to keep track of who's Hordak and who's not Hordak. There should be like a million wrong Hordaks at this point. Oh no! 
Okay, I know this is really serious, but that that was a good combo. Again, this is going to be the part where I'm starting to worry if they're going to have enough time to do everything I need. To, they need to do, and Scorpia and Catcher have not had a moment yet, so... And you've always been able to track us our whole lives. So do something good with it for once and help me save Adora before it's too late. Katra, do one good thing in your life. Come here. You can't just leave Adora, Oscar. I'll find her. Katra, I can't lose her again, okay? I promised her a long time ago that I'd look out for her. It's time I made good on that. <sighs> Take care of her, poor scum. That's the plan, Sparkles. And good luck. The four of us don't need luck. We're the best friend squad. <laughs> Remember a few reactions ago when I said I was probably going to be bawling my eyes out? <laughs> I think it's pretty close now. God. Uh. Stop. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Be careful, okay? Me? I'm always careful. I never wanted to die. I sacrificed myself so you would never have to. Why are you doing this, Adora? It's better this way. My friends will be safe. They'll be happy. You're worth more than what you can give to other people. You deserve love, too. You're so close, Adora. Don't give up yet. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow you listen. Still working out certain aspects of the timeline, the history of this world, but would Mara know Horde Prime? Like, was, were the first ones fighting Horde Prime at the time that Mara closed off the portal, or afterwards? So, I guess maybe we'll see. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes! Hot dog in a toaster! It's a giant wave! It's like some Jean Grey action. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, but ma'am, we're missed her. Wait, where's Scorpio? Prime thinks he controls you, but I know you, and I'm gonna prove it to you with the power of Shanty. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Seahawk, you meant well, but <laughs> you know, this is actually kind of nice. Doesn't it remind you of the first time we met? You also tried to kill me then. <laughs> Can we get like a spinoff about uh, Seahawk and Mermista going on adventures? That would be interesting. Couldn't wait to sweep me off my feet. Uh, why are you like this? Because I love you, dearest. <laughs> and also, it's a good distraction. Aha! Yeah. What's up with that? This episode just has me going back and forth between like, oh, that's so cute and oh, that's so sad. 
Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Oh no, not this again. Hello, baby girl. Oh. Even one as strong as Shira. You will never make it to the heart, Adora. Your own people made sure of that. Goodbye, my oldest enemy. What is this thing? No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh my god. What is this? What is this finale even? Do? I'm not even mad about what's happening. It's playing out exactly how it should. I mean, not exactly how I should. I can't expect everything. You're, you're supposed to feel this way. I get it, but... Oh, so many great moments in this one. More Katra and Adora flashbacks. Bo and Glimmer said they love each other. It was adorable. <laughs> uh, but then you got moments like uh, Micah coming back. And he's possessed by dark magic. And d did you see how close I came to actually crying? I mean, it, uh, it's coming, guys. It's coming really soon. And it's probably going to be next episode. I can't. Oh, I can't do this. Ugh. I'm so tempted to just watch the next episode right now. But I want to stick to just watching one episode at a time. And... It's the last episode, so I don't want to just, you know, go right into it. I, even if I, even if I'm just prolonging this series by one more day, I just don't want it to be over. But in all seriousness, putting aside my overly comical, angry reaction, seriously, this is this is so unbelievably well done. So much heart and soul, so much care and craft. Just. It's, uh, I, I, I can't even... This is excellent. It's it's excellent, and I love it. At the same time, I'm getting... This is the problem all show has. There's only, like, one episode left. Is that really enough time to do everything that we need to see? I mean, maybe. Maybe. But then again, some of the things that I want to see happen are probably things that technically don't need to happen. Some things can be left to your imagination after a story ends, but... Yeah, uh, so this review is probably going to be shorter than it normally is, I think, but what else is there to say? I mean, it's Seahawk and Mermista, uh, but then again, that's just another example of an amazing emotional moment between two characters after so much buildup over the course of the series. Oh, and taking us back to the first time uh, Adora found the sword and met Glimmer and Bo, showing how far they've come. It's it's too much to handle. It's too much. <sighs> yeah, I could keep going, but uh, I think I'm just gonna stop there. Yeah, guys. Only one episode to go. I'm not ready to say goodbye to this show because I love it so much, but I I'm glad that it's going to hopefully get a proper conclusion. And as much as I wish that there was, you know, more still to come, uh, a saying that I like when it comes to TV shows... Uh, I think it was Peter Gould who said this on Better Call Saul. Uh, when he was asked uh, how many seasons there were going to be, I think while he was explaining uh, there were going to be fewer seasons, that he said, like, it's better to wish that there had been more seasons of a show than to wish that it had ended sooner. And I agree with that 100%. Like, yes, I'm sure after I watch the next episode, I'm going to be so sad that it's over and I want more. But at the same time, I appreciate that this show just keeping it tightly knit and not dragging it out just because it's popular so okay i mean at this time i'm done i'm gonna stop right there but guys what did you think of this episode i'm sure you got a lot to say so uh, feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments let me know what you think as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time for the last she -Ra.
and the princess of the power reaction. Peace.